So I recently took apart an old uh, Xenon power supply from an industrial grade slide projector. Um, nominal output on the power supply was up to 50 amps. Uh, it was variable actually. Um, I was originally going to make a linear power supply out of it for my bench, but the voltage was way too high for what I needed it for and I would have had to dissipate a lot of heat in the past transistors. And I figured it would have actually cost me more to do that than just to get a uh, decent switch mode power supply. So I got the decent switch mode power supply and disassembled the Xenon power supply. And I've got the uh, capacitors out right now. They are uh, Mallory 48,000 microfarads. There's two of them, uh, 60 volts DC. And let's have some fun. So right now I've got them charged up to uh, 52.7 volts, as you can see on the voltmeter there. And uh, these scorch marks here are from when I dropped a pair of needle nose pliers into the power supply uh, while it uh, while the capacitors were still charged. Um, yeah, I kind of vaporized the tips of the uh, pliers and sent hot metal everywhere. Pretty fun. So I've got some 8 gauge power wire here. Just from a little car stereo install that I did a bunch of years ago. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Uh, rest in peace headphone users. One, two, three. Oh, that's a little hot. <laughs> uh, if you're going to try this at home, safety gear, glasses, gloves, don't do what I do because I'm dumb. Well, you can see the molten bits there and the scorch marks. Let's get a little bit closer to the bench and see if we can get some scorch marks on there. Ready? Three, two, one. Poof! <laughs> uh, fun, fun. First bang was louder than the second. Let's try that one more time. Boom! It's really bassy. It used to pop a lot, but... Oh, well, I probably just have to redo the ends here. Don't do this at home. Thank you.